allegedly apparently this is true um i guess Lori harvey and um idris the british guy are about to break up um or they've already breaking up but um here, here's the thing with Lori harvey which concerns me because i know this is going to happen she has had so many chances with i'm talking about the most high all of these high value guys, I guess per se, that's the term, but all these top guys that she has had a chance with, you know, I, I don't understand what she's doing, dog. She, I, I, like, for example, there's certain women that can get away with like Rihanna, you know, what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Aaliyah to a lesser, to a lesser extent. Like there are some girls that are pass arounds, but they have talent. So it's like, it's a, it's a conundrum because they're still going to be, be able to be in certain places you know, Rihanna was still able to get what like the guy from the Middle East that had paper, but still be able like she can success like she can openly monkey branch to people and she's still winning because she's Rihanna. But she's like a rare case. And Aaliyah would have been the same way. With Lori Harvey, I'm not I don't I think she's a model, but. If I look at her dating history, she's she's had so many chances. Hold, hold on for a second. Let me put it on me real quick before I put it back before I put it. Let me we got to find. Because she's been with, I'm talking about some of the top dudes. I, I mean, I mean she's she been with Future, Memphis Depay, Michael B. Jordan. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you know, like she's had chance upon chance upon chance. But let me look up her actual like dating history and the rumors. Because the, the rumors, there's something to it. But let me look. Let me see. Let me search up. Let me search up her her history. I got to do this because we got to put this in its proper perspective before I make my final point. It's just, it's fucking ridiculous. The, the, like she's had chance upon chance to secure the bag. Really? Like she's, she's had chances dog with like, she's had it like you, she has, she's like, she's had so many chances. Oh yeah, Diddy. She went. Yeah, she did. Like first of all, that's how you knew Lori Harvey is a, uh, 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 basically a like uh, not not. I'm not gonna say a predator, but she's like uh, she's not a good person. <laughs> she's just she's 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 a, she's she's a 304. That's how you know. Like this is a a um. We gotta come up with a term with the certain 304s. Yeah, Trey Songs. Just yeah, she was because she was with Diddy and his son. She was she was with she was with she was with. Yeah, she was with Justin. Yeah, she was with Justin Combs first, and then she monkey branched to his father. I'm like, bruh, that that's crazy. Yeah, and then Memphis Depay. Anybody that knows Memphis Depay at the time, Memphis Depay, and he still is, and he still is one of the biggest uh, uh, footballing superstars in the world. You know, so it's it's called soccer in America, but worldwide it's called football. You know, Memphis Depay is one of the biggest footballing stars in Europe, especially during that time. And like, uh, what's it? I think. 2016 or whatever but i remember coming in manchester united to uh and then to uh uh uh, uh leon like this guy is a superstar he's a he's a he's very well known in the footballing world like that i don't understand like there was about like they was about to get married and then she called off and then she called off the engagement well they both i guess they both mutually yeah, and then okay, okay. Let me let me show you something. Let me show you guys something here. Let me show you guys something. So here I have her dating history, and they showed her quote right here. She said, "I almost got married very young, so I think after that it made me be like I felt like I hadn't really experienced anything." This is the typical three hundred four shit. <laughs> what do you mean experience said something? Well, you mean <laughs> like when when girls say stuff like that, that just means they just want to be they just want to ride the cock carousel for a longer time. They want to be a three hundred four. They want to sleep around with more men. Basically, they, she she just thinks she hasn't slept with with enough uh, men <laughs> yet until she wants to settle down. What people don't understand: the average three hundred four now their 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 plan and the reason why it's blowing up in their face now is their plan is basically to party it up from age thirteen fourteen. Let's keep it real, not eighteen. People keep thinking it's just eighteen. No, from age fourteen through twenty. 7 28 just party live it up and then find a husband by 30 that's their plan and start having kids around there that's basically most 304's plan and this is 
equivalent to the same thing. And then once they say, where's the real men? I can't find any real men. <laughs> and then, then that's at that age, that's when they start getting mad, you know, like Tommy Lauren and them, when the guys, the rich older guys that they're looking for are going for women that are younger than them, then she's going to start complaining. And Lori Harvey is going to be the same thing. I have this, she, this, and this is, this is the point I was, the big point I was trying to make. She's going to be one of those women. And I know this, I know this, this is what she's going to do. She's going to be one of those women going through all the top guys. And once that attention starts waning, when she's finally done, ready to settle down in her, in, you know, and on her terms, she wants things on her terms. When she finally wants to do it, she's going to be like, oh, these guys are just smashing and dashing me. Where's the real man? All these men are predators. She's going to be like, all these men are, are predators. They're just looking for younger women. Wow. When she was that age, she was going through all the top guys. And actually had like opportunities to be married. When we talk about Memphis the Pie, like that, people don't understand. Like football, soccer stars be making bank, dog. Like she literally, <laughs> like I said, women in today's age, they 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 shoot themselves on a the foot, not with a hand. They just shoot themselves on a the foot with a fucking bazooka. They're one. That's they they get they get, they're like the the guy that that gets all the nice weapons in like Fortnite or or Call of Duty, but they still end up dying. That's Lori Harvey. That's most women nowadays, especially the ones with just a little bit of clout. Remember, I showed you that military girl, right? And uh, she's uh, this conservative, but she got nice followers. So in her mind, because she has 100K followers, she thinks she's better than the average man. So she's going to be like, I'm going to look for somebody on my level. I'm like, what do you mean your level? You just got, I mean, dude, like I, I know escorts that have, bruh. Dude, I know women that got like 500 followers and they got, you know, NBA basketball players in their DMs. It's it's Instagram like people like, you know, 304s always bring that to the bank, their follower account. And I, they don't even realize like Instagram is just high end back page for celebrities. That's all it is. Right. So any woman with clout, they really think that they're better than the average guy, but they're not. They like they're actually below the plumber, in my opinion, way below the plumber way below the uh the uh, uh, uh um uh, a janitor because any any bitch can do what, what she's doing now to be fair to lori harvey she is a pretty woman that's what i'm saying like she's literally she's god has literally given her everything and she's gonna fumble the bag because she's not she, let's let's keep let's keep it a buck because her mom is about to break break it break off from uh the simp steve harvey right her her stepdad so She's going to be broken off soon. I don't know why she not locked up. She 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 ain't. <laughs> because you still got these high these 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 dudes they're willing to put a, a ring on this bitch because she looks like she looks like the trophy wife. But she just <laughs> you know, girls like that they always think there's something better. But yeah, that's just yeah, future, but yeah, you you know, future I already said the other guys. But I remember there was a longer list that they showed of all these people. So what's going to happen is what I assume is this. Once she gets to like. Let me see. She was 20 years old when she got proposed to by the pie. And I know like Michael B. Jordan wanted to marry the bitch, but she didn't. She, she didn't want it. But uh, yeah, she was 20. So she's now 20. <laughs> All right. She is 26 right now. Guys, give it two years. She's going to be asking where the real men are at in two years. Give it two years. Just give it two years. Once she hits 28, because she's 26 right now, just give it two years. Two more years, guys. Just give it two more years. <laughs> give it two more years. She's going to be asking where are all the real men at. Just give it two more years. So let's look at the uh, comment section. Oh, Lord. Here we go. So let's read this comment here. She says, her name is pretty exotic. This is why men hate Lori. She is having her way with these men. And leaving when she gets bored, just like they do. Um, miss the 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 names of the celebrities that I listed that she has had per se. Um, these guys they've found girlfriends after her. Like girls like Lori Harvey for those guys are a dime a dozen. You know, Memphis the Pie has he's been moved he's been moved on. You know, uh, Diddy and his son <laughs> moved on. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Michael B. Jordan, you know, they, these guys moved on. Um, who else am I missing? <laughs> Future. He's got how many kids, <laughs> you know, but like I said, let, let's, uh, can I see her profile? 
Now, nah, let me not. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, yeah. And I remember Des Bryant because he was saying now Idris. So I remember um, Des Bryant had made a tweet when Lori Harvey had uh, moved on from Michael B. Jordan. And he was literally trying to tell the the uh, black black women specifically, like, y'all really can't move. Don't think you can move around like Lori Harvey. <laughs> like, that's unrealistic. And all the and I'm sitting there like, you know what? There's a reason why SYSBM exists. <laughs> I was just like, because you're basically trying to preach to a choir that's not trying to hear it. They're not like black women are not trying to hear it. They admire Lori Harvey because in their mind. She's. Uh, her their version of future in terms of she's they look at her as oh that's how i should have been dating when i was younger and i'm literally like first of all let's 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 keep let's make it real clear real, real quick black women have zero leverage in this dating marketplace in 2023 black women have zero leverage in a, in a dating marketplace now that's not black men's fault that's not white men's fault that's not white bitches fault that's that's black women's fault Already, it started in the in, in the sixties and seventies, right? When the government literally started incentivizing black women to uh, to tear up their families and to separate men from the household for crumbs. Not even it wasn't even like they didn't even offer black women real money. They just gave them just like some 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 cheese, <laughs> some government cheese, not literally nothing to keep the man away from their family. And that perversion basically started where women black women at that time just was just on some dual mating strategy type shit. Okay, I'm gonna just get knocked up by the guy I kinda like, but I know he's not gonna stick by me anyways. But if he doesn't stick with me, I get more money in her mind. So I'm gonna just use his seed and then hopefully I find a stepdad to save me. That's how that's how it it's it's evolved. It just started with I'm gonna just get knocked out by the guy be a single mom and then it evolved to two, okay, I need a stepdad after I get knocked out by the guy that I really want, but I know he's never gonna stay. So I'm gonna just use his seed, keep that take the money from him even if he's not there i still win because somebody's gonna take care of me and then it evolved to okay this is not working out i'm gonna abort the i'm gonna kill the kid in my womb so now we live in a in a time now where the most dangerous place for a black man to be is inside the womb of a black woman right so now abortions like like i said the highest killer of black life is not even the shootings it's mom's and their abortions. So uh, now, when you talk about leverage, and when you look at the abortions, and I'm pretty sure if you were to find out the genders of the abortions, most of them are men. Look at Cynthia G. The rise of her, rise of her message, abort black uh, men, right? So now, you. So now the men that are left is now the 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 the, the stats are crazy because it's now it's like in, in a city, especially in a predominantly or not predominantly, a city where there's a lot of black people in it is literally one black man to 26 black women. The only and and this is the only group of men that are dating black women in droves. Black women are literally the la like the, the least preferred on the dating sites in real life. Everybody says it and they're still having this mindset of, oh, I'm going to be like Lori Harvey. This is crazy. This is insane. This is not good because there are first of all, people keep saying, oh, uh, you know, black women, black men are afraid of losing black women. No, black men have options. A lot of them don't know it, but I'm talking about when you talk about the dating market, it's literally when it comes to preferred people, even with all the stigma behind black men, we're still at number two. <laughs> even with all the shit behind us, even with uh, 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 active, I'm talking about black men being killed by black women, white men being accused by white women, we're still number two. Even with, even with all of that, we're still number two in the dating. We're still over the Asians in terms of dating preferences, which makes which makes no sense to me, in my opinion, because the Asians literally Asian men literally have more money and it's, it, they have a structure. We still at number two. So that's why when black men go overseas, they can find somebody. They have no problems finding, uh, you know, a partner. But. This is the only segment of men that are dating black are dating most most black men marry black women but this mindset this is crazy because now these new black dudes they don't want, they want nothing to do with black women and i'm literally and i'm literally like this is bad because i have there are black women in my family that are about to 
enter our age where they're going to start looking and there's, and there, we have no black men looking for them. This is not good. This like this. What, what am I supposed to say, especially if you have a black woman that's actually raised right and she's looking for a black man? First of all, the odds are stacked against her to find even a lo- like to ask for a loyal black man. Those days are gone because the, the, the numbers are it's, it's impossible. If the guy, if the black dude has a decent head on his shoulders and has a job and he's straight, he's literally, literally <laughs> the, the <laughs> it's it goes from one black man to 26 to one black man to 120. <laughs> Because, like when I when I say there's one black man to one black uh, to twenty six black women, that doesn't count the 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 the, the gay men. That doesn't count uh uh uh, uh the men that, that that have no money. That doesn't count the men that are short. That you know what I'm saying. It, it doesn't count the men that are not you know uh uh, uh the woman's ideal guy. It doesn't take account you know if they're ugly or not. So now if the guy is just decent and just has a, a average, this is why those guys go to to Vietnam and they kill it. And people don't understand what's what's going on with this. This is a problem. This is a problem. When we have the, the only group of men that are willing to date black women and they're leaving, they're going elsewhere or they're dating, you know, another race. <laughs> this is a problem. People don't, people don't see it. Like when you saw the FIFA Women's World Cup, did you see the Philippines teams when they had those three half breeds in there helping helping them? <laughs> they, 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 they have black fathers. This is going to be a problem in the future. And we have this mindset, especially amongst black women. Oh, I'm going to be like Lori Harvey. And you got guys like Des Bryant saying, don't do that. <laughs> uh, you, got, you got even Umar Johnson had to say something about that. Like, this is not good. This is not good. So they say most of us black women invest too much time into men that we know are not good for us. I wish I would have had this mindset when I was younger. You move wrong. I'm out. But the problem is with that mindset is. The thing is, you really can't listen to a woman when it comes to dating experience, because most of the guys on her radar, she doesn't even consider them human. So she doesn't re- she in her mind, the average black man is not even considered in her mind. Anything less than the 10 percent, she's going to consider that settling. And she's like, so her her experience is very most women women's experience with men are very limited. This is why you're really not supposed to listen to women when it comes to dating. Let's see, da, 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 baby. If she don't do nothing else, she gonna leave a relationship. I love Lori. So you see that that mentality. I don't. I don't. This is not the time to be doing that because I'm just saying. Like it. It will be. It will be like black women else say. Oh, you're just afraid of us going somewhere else, or we not. I'm like nobody else is trying to be with y'all in like droves. We can't. Like what? What are we supposed to say? As you know, a race of people when we're having a whole demographic a whole segment of women that are single mothers where most of these people are single mothers sharing the same men, sharing the same STDs. Hence why 50% of black women have herpes like this is, and then you have a whole other segment of black men that have, that want nothing to do with black women. And then you have another segment that are (laughs) trying, but women are not even looking at them. The pro black, the pro black men are trying to keep this shit going. (laughs) They're not even trying to look at them unless if they're Tariq Nasheed. (laughs) You know, so it's this is terrible. This is terrible. And it's a terrible example to to uh, put. And I don't like the promotion of her as a hero. This is not something black women should be looking up to because they're 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 women, They're going to need help in the future. Right. This is not this is not this is not good. This is not good. Let's see these uh, more comments. Let me try to scroll down. And, and by the way, like. By the way, like when I when I when I was younger, when I used to date black women, it wasn't a problem. Now, this was like <laughs> like or this was like high school or like around 2016, 2017, especially college. So it wasn't a, a, a huge problem for me, per se. But. This is not. This is not this is not good, man. This is not good. And then when these actors go to a white, uh, 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 <laughs> a, 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 a white, um spouse to pass down their seeds and then you guys have something something slick to say about their kids and like you know this this is not good this is not good people don't even like i look i watch the women's world cup and i'm i'm seeing these 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 chicks the i'm seeing these mixed chicks especially a lot of mixed asian chicks playing in there they all have black fathers this like this passport thing this has been going on dog and it's just gonna get worse we're gonna have there's gonna be a point 
one of these teams is going to have a generational type half breed. <laughs> and well, well, technically we already Victor won by Yama. I got to find out what his, his, um, I got to find, I got to find out what his demographics are because he looks like a half breed, but <laughs> I, I got to see what his, what his, um, uh, his makeup is. Let me see. But like woman, like, cause this is not good for the average black woman. I don't, I don't think so. This is not good. He said, there's no way you that fine. Yeah, she's the problem. Obviously, she's the problem. He said she moves on faster than Mexican music. <laughs> but like I said, this is not good. I don't I don't think I don't think this is good. I don't I don't think this is a good president to set. And Lori Harvey is a terrible example. She's a terrible example of what black women should be looking up to. Now, I don't have the answer per se of who they should be looking up to, but, you know, it would have been better. They would have, they would have more examples if, you know, their moms didn't ran, ran their dads away. <laughs> you know, it's, it's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. 